Welcome scientists, it's Miss Gisa, and we are learning about bees. So today I thought I'd read you a little story called The Honey Bee, and it's by Kristen Hall and Isabel Arsenault. A field, a tree, climate, and sea. For miles all around you grow wild and free. Flowers, but then, shh, what's that? Do you hear it? You're near it. It's closer. It's coming. It's buzzing. It's humming. A Four tiny wings, they buzz and they sing. They're clapping and flapping. The busy bees lapping. Lap, lap, lap. Tap, tap, tap. Searching, perching. This one. This is the flower the bee has chosen. This is the flower the pollen grows in. This is the flower, its color so bright. Its sweet blooming scent calls the bee from its flight. Such a long trip. It's time for a sip. Sugary, watery, nectar. There now, it drills now. The bee sips and spills now. There now, it swills now. It sits oh so still now. There now, it fills now. It's back to the hill now. More pollen, more nectar. It's meal time. Buzz, buzz. Bzz, bzz, a crowd, swarming and teeming and loud, flapping, flying, landing, prying, all of this nectar, it's ours, it's ours. They work on the fields for hours and hours until little bees with heavy sacks, lifting, shifting, turning back. Zoom, they race, zoom, they chase, zoom, they zoom and pick up the pace, and then zoom, they see it up ahead. Our hive, our hive, our hiding place. Watch them arrive. Watch how their hive buzzes alive. Buzz. Where are the flowers you found today? Dance for foragers, show us the way. A dance begins, waggle wiggle. The dance is lovely, tremble jiggle. The dance goes straight now, in a line. A figure eight is the final sign. Oh, now we know, we know where to go. Thanks for the secrets and thanks for the show. New foragers leave on a searching mission while house bees march forward with hungry ambition. Chew, chew, that's what we do. We suck out the nectar, we suck it straight through. Chew, chew, we're changing its makeup. We're giving the nectar a chemical shakeup. Chew, chew, we make it like glue. Make it thick, make it stick, make it slick, make it new. Chew, 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 chew. At last, we're finally through. But there's more to do at home. Like Phil, the honeycomb, they jam its cells with nectar plaster, then rev up their engines and beat their wings faster. Whoosh, they're strong despite their size. Swoosh, the nectar cools and dries. It's getting thicker now. Wings move quicker now. Fan, fast, pump, blast, we did it, we did it. It's honey at last. And now to keep it safe, tiny honey cells are capped. Liquid gold is sealed and trapped. And only when it's needed most, a hungry day will these vaults be tapped. Outside the hive come shorter days, cooler winds and softer rays, fewer eggs to birth and raise. With the queen less busy, the hives less buzzy and bees amass all soft and fuzzy. Come now, rest, join our nest, huddle and cuddle, the winters are test. Pop a bud, drip some mud, creatures stir in the melting snow, and inside the hive, the bees, they know. Hum, it's springtime, hum, life anew. One little bee in a tree knows what to do. 
Watch it. Zoom! A field, a tree, climate, and sea from a faraway hive flew this hardworking, honey sweet bee. Are you ready to do a little project with me? Let's go. All right, friends, let's learn how to draw a bee. So the first step is drawing a circle for the head. And then we're going to draw the bee's body. Remember, the bee has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. And then we'll draw the bee's wings. And the bee, although a side view may look like there are two wings, there are actually four wings on a bee, two in the front and two in the back. And then I'm gonna draw the little antennae. All right, do you have that so far? You can slow down the video if you need to, or you can pause it. All right, now we're gonna make the bee's eyes. And mouth. This is more like a cartoony bee, not, not like a bee you'd see outside, right? This is not really a scientific drawing. It's more just a fun drawing. Then we're going to put the stripes on our bee. Make sure you have crayons or colored pencils nearby because after we draw our bee, you can color it. All right, and then we need the little leggies. We need some bee leggies. Do you remember how many legs an insect has? Yeah, six. I'm just gonna draw three because we're doing a sideways view of the bee. And then if you want, you can draw some sky, you can draw some flowers, some grass, some more bee friends. Um, but don't forget to send me a picture of your drawing when it's complete. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.